Welcome to our lesson on adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators. So we're going to begin by working out one half add one quarter. And when we add fractions with different denominators, we need to use a common denominator. So in this case, we're going to use the denominator of four. This is because four is the lowest common multiple of each denominator. And to do this, we need to multiply this fraction by 2 because 2 times 2 makes a 4. So 1 times 2 is 2. So this fraction here is equivalent to 2 quarters. Added to the other quarter is a total of 3 quarters. And you can see how this works. We have 1 half here, which is the same as 2 quarters. And then we add one more quarter and we do get a total of three quarters. And for question B, one third plus one six. Well, this time the lowest common multiple of the denominators is six. So again, we'll multiply this fraction by two to give us two six. This fraction already has six as a denominator. So we have 2 6 and 1 6, which is 3 6. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 3, which is the highest common factor of 3 and 6. So now we have 1 half. And we can check this works, because here is 1 third. And we're adding one more 6 to it. So we do have a total of 3 6 which is equivalent to one half. Okay, let's move on. Do you want to try and work out one half at one six and one third at one twelve? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question C, we're going to use the common denominator of six because six is the lowest common multiple of two and six. And to do this, we need to multiply the half by three because two times three is six, so one times three is three. Add the one six is a total of four six. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both the numerator and denominator by two. So we have two thirds. And we can check this works. We have one half, add one more six. So we have four six in total, which is equivalent to two thirds. And question D, one third add one twelfth. Well, now the common denominator will be over 12 because three goes into 12 four times. So this will be four twelfths add one twelfth, which is five twelfths. And this cannot be simplified. We'll check on our fraction wall. One third is here which is 4 twelfths, and we're adding one more. So we do have 5 twelfths. And you can see none of these are equivalent to that. Okay, let's try one more question. So do you want to try and complete the fraction pyramid where each cell on top is made by adding the two beneath? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we'll begin by working out this value here where something add 2 fifteenths is 7 fifteenths. Well, you can see that we need 5 more fifteenths. But this can be simplified by dividing both by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So this will be 1 third. And now we have 1 third, which you know is 5 fifteenths, plus 1 fifth. We can write this as the common denominator over 15 by multiplying it by 3. We'll add it to the 5 fifteenths. So in total we have 8 fifteenths. And finally, this value here is 7 fifteenths add 8 fifteenths. 7 add 8 is 15. Divided by 15 is 1. Okay. Thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful.
Thanks again and take care.